In most cases, myeloma is thought to be sporadic. That is, it occurs randomly or in a stochastic fashion. However, we think there are some genetic factors that predispose an individual to be more likely to develop the disease. We know that individuals of African ancestry are more likely to get myeloma, and we also know there's families where two or more family members seem to be affected. Recent germline genetic studies suggest that at least for a fraction of myeloma patients, perhaps those that are younger and those with some genetic subtypes may have certain variants that make them more likely uh, to develop the disease. When we talk to patients about the genetic changes that we can observe in their plasma cells, it's important to note that those changes are not present in the person's other cells in the body. And they're not the changes that we think are of a inherited nature. That is, those are changes that are going to be exclusively restricted to the myeloma cells and will not be passed on from generation to generation. However, those are the changes that originally drive the uncontrolled growth of the plasma cells.